our sands be all but run. Where's the harm in joining the winning side? I understand everything. Except that wig. Johnny Depp and crew are back for Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. So is it a see it, rent it, or skip it? Movie critic, four fat guys at the movie.com. <laughs> Kevin Carr is here with the answer. This is my patch. I'm trying to be a pirate. Arrgh. Ahoy, you mateys. It didn't work out so no, well. That's okay. Okay, so you saw this movie. It's yes. the fourth movie. Mm -hmm. Was it good? Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I will say, I really enjoyed it. And, and you have to look at the series as the first movie, of course, was the original, and then sure. they made the other two. And this one takes a different story than that sort of first three movie arc. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of like a James Bond or a Indiana Jones movie. They take a character, throw him into a new story. It's based on a book uh, as opposed to the original series. It's also directed by Rob Marshall who did who he did Chicago and mm -hmm. Nine and, and stuff like that as opposed to Gore, Gore Verbinski who did the first three. Okay. Now it has a lighter tone. It, it simplifies the story. It's a little more straightforward and, and I enjoyed that. I personally I appreciated that because I thought the other two sequels just got really Really heavy, heavy and yeah. weighted down yeah. and got very gray and dark. Uh, this was more fun. Sort of goes back to that Disney uh, adventure kind of movie. Oh, interesting. What about the cast? I saw Penelope Cruz in there, Johnny yeah. Depp. Does she work well with him? She works well. I mean, she doesn't have a huge part, but I have to say she looks great. She you know, always does. She looks great in, in the little... Can she not look great, really? <laughs> I've seen a couple things, yeah. But um, there, there was a movie. But yeah, Ian McShane plays Blackbeard. Of course, you got Jeffrey Rush back. So, I mean, I love the cast. It's If you're expecting it to be exactly like the other three movies, uh, you might be disappointed. Okay. But, I mean, take it as a fun sort of family adventure. And I, I, I really enjoyed I like the fact that they kind of went somewhere different. Yeah. And it's Jack's movie, as opposed to the other one, which was Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan. And they kind of wrapped those up. This one's Jack's kind of the hero, so he's maybe not as ambiguous as he is in the other films. Okay. So, see it, rent it, skip it. You're saying see it. I'm saying see it. Huh, it's the okay. big movie this weekend. And the whole family can go see it? I think so. It's rated PG-13, so okay. it has some violence and people get killed and that kind of thing. Right. But it's relatively lighthearted. If you're going to take him to, like, Transformers later to this summer, you should be fine taking him to this. Perfect. All right. Next, let's move on. Bridesmaids. Uh, you didn't have a chance to review this one a uh, few weeks, uh, few weeks week. ago. Right. Last week. Two we weeks ago. Open, yeah. um, Tell us about what you thought about it. Well, this one is sort of a, it's a raunchy comedy for women. And a lot of people are saying <laughs> The Hangover for Girls. So it's like The girls. Hangover for Girls. I mm. love it. And I mean, it works to a degree. It's, it's, uh, it kind of has that same sort of thing where somebody's getting married. And, and it's uh, Kristen Wigg, who you recognize <gasps> from Saturday Night Saturday Live, Live and a whole yeah. bunch of other movies. Uh, she plays a woman who is struggling with uh, her friends getting married and dealing with all the, the problems of the bridesmaids and, and sort of the interpersonal you communication, that sort of thing. It's... It, it, it is definitely an R-rated movie. Unlike Pirates, no, don't take the that? kids. Uh, well, partly because language? language, bodily functions, you know, sexual connotation, just, all that kind of thing. Okay. So uh, it's not something for the kids. But a lot of women are, are enjoy this. A lot of men are enjoying it as well. Personally, I was I thought it was a little tired, okay. but but that that's just me. I, I totally acknowledge that pe that people like this movie. Oh, what, what is all the vomiting in here? Uh, well, you know, it's it's they, they, I can't tell you exactly what happens. Don't tell us. Okay, don't tell. But us. it all happens. Let's okay. just say that. But this is but this is something that you can actually take your hubby or your you know guy friend to, and they'll be okay. I think though they're going to be okay with it. Uh, you might want to take your mom to it too. Okay. I mean, if maybe not maybe not if you're a guy, take your mom. But if you're a woman. <laughs> Take your mom and you guys can laugh about guys together. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, something special. We have 10 seconds left happening this weekend in Columbus. Sci-fi fans. Sci-fi movie marathon. They're doing a 24-hour movie marathon at the Drexel. Kicks off with War of the Worlds. Ends with Troll Hunter, a new movie. Fun, fun film. 20, nothing, nothing like spending 24 hours in a movie theater with like a couple hundred of your closest friends. But shower first. I love it. Know. Shower first. Okay, wait. Bridesmaids, was that a rent it? That was a rent it for rent me. It. Okay, so we got one it. see it, one rent it. Thank you, Kevin. We appreciate it. Thank you. Out of time. Lisa, over to you. It is hard to be a bridesmaid. We